Hello, this is Brett Etheridge, founder of Dominate the GMAT, here with your GMAT tip of the week. The tip for this week has to do with questions like you see on your screen that contain the words, how many? How many ways are there of doing something? And there are really two versions of this type of question and two strategies, one of which is just to use straight up combinatorics. But this question doesn't really lend itself to that. And really the default and best strategy for these types of questions is to systematically make lists and look for patterns. In fact, that's your tip. When you see a question that asks how many, how many ways are there of doing something, start to make lists, start to look for patterns. I'll let you apply that on your own. Go ahead and press pause, see how you do, and then we'll come back and try to tackle it together. Go ahead and press pause. All right, how'd you do? Well, let's get very clear on what it's even talking about, right? When we have a number like 700 that has three digits, there are three different places. There's the hundreds place, which is the hundreds number, in this case seven, the tens digit, which is that middle number, and then the units digit, or the ones digit, that is that final number. And so we just want to be very clear on that. And so we're looking for ways that two of the digits are going to be the same and one digit is going to be different from each other. And there are really three combinations of that, right? There are ways that the hundreds and the tens digit are going to be the same. So for example, I'll give you an example like 770, right? That would be a number where the hundreds digit and the tens digit is going to be the same. It's also conceivable that the tens digit and the ones digit is going to be the same, right? That would be an example of like 844, right? The tens digit is the same and the ones digit is the same. And then finally, we could have a scenario where we have the hundreds digit actually is the same as the ones digit. And that would be an example of like 707 or something like that. And so we're starting to make the list. Now, the question is how many of each of those combinations are there going to be? Well, we can further break it up and think to ourselves, okay, certainly we have the 700s, and this is going to be the 700s to 799, right? How many times is it going to happen there? Because at that point, we're going to kind of tip over into the 800s. We're going to go 800 to 899, right? And then finally, we ultimately are going to have the 900s to the 999s, because it says how many are there going to be starting at 700, but we're looking at three different integers. So once we get to 1,000, we no longer have three-digit integers. And then it's just a matter of literally thinking through it, right? So let's start down here. I mean, what do we have? The hundreds and the one, for example. So we have 700. Um, what does that tell us? Well, in that case, it says greater than 700, so that actually doesn't count. The 00, zero doesn't count. But we could have 707, for example, and then we could have 717, and then 727, right? And you start to recognize the pattern. Well, how many of those are there going to be? 737, 747. There would be 10 of them, right? Ah, uh, except we don't want to count 777 because that and all three are the same. So if you think about it, between 700 and 800, there are going to be nine instances where the hundreds unit and the, and the uh, hundreds digit and the units digit or the ones digit is going to be the same because 777 doesn't count. And then you start to recognize a pattern. Isn't that going to be ca the case all the way across the board? It's going to be the same in the 800s, right? 808, 818, 828, 838, 848. Ten of them except we don't count 888, so we have to subtract one, so there's really only nine. And then the same thing up here, right? We have 909, 919, 929. The one that we accept is 999 because that's all three the same and we don't want that. Well, is this pattern going to apply for the tens and the ones? Well, let's look. You know, and we just have to confirm it. For the tens and the ones, would we have 999? Well, we would have 7... Oh, oh, well, that doesn't count. How about 711? How about 7... 22, 733, 744, 755. Well, we would have to subtract 777, so there would be 9. Ah, but look, 700 itself isn't going to count because the question says greater 
then 700. So actually, we're not going to have 9. In this instance, we're going to only have 8. But we would have 9 here, right? Because 8, uh, 8, 100 counts because that's greater than 700. 811, 822, 833, 844, and so forth, except 888. That doesn't count. So there are going to be 9 of those. There are going to be 9 of these. And how about the hundreds and the tens? Well, we have 770, 771, 772, 773, 774, everything except for 777. So there's going to be 9 of those. Sure enough, the same thing here, 9 of those, right? Because 800, 811, 822, 8, oh, sorry, uh, and the tens. So 8, 880, 881, 882, and so forth. And there's going to be nine of these. And so we look for the pattern. You should be able to pick this up relatively quickly. In fact, you can see that the total number of numbers for which two of the digits are going to be the same and one is going to be different is just going to be nine times. How many are there? Nine, 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 nine times nine, right? Nine times nine is 81. Except... That's not one of our answer choices because what do we notice? In one instance, we have one fewer. We have to account for the fact that the question says greater than, not greater and equal to, but greater than. And so it's going to be 81 minus, sorry, minus the 1 or 80 total. And so when we look over here at our answer choices, bingo. We have 80 is correct. 82 is close if you did something a little bit wrong, and then 90 is just flat out wrong. 90 would be the common wrong answer if you put 10 in each one of these boxes. Like if you thought it was 10, 10, 10, you'd probably come up with 90 as your answer. But again, we have to account for the fact that 777, 888, 999, those numbers don't count because all three digits are the same and the question only wants two of them to be the same. And if you pick D or E, you just flat out missed something. So the correct answer is C. Good job if you got that. And again, the tip is when you see questions that ask how many, right, how many different ways of doing something are there, oftentimes if you just start writing out the different combinations of things like we did, you'll start to recognize a pattern. And I didn't have to write out every number, I just had to realize that there are 9 here, 9 here, 8 here, 9 here, and then I can do some quick math and say 9 times 9 is 81, minus 1 is 80. So I hope this tip is helpful. You will see some how many questions on the GMAT. Now you're equipped to answer them. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to make these types of lists in under two minutes to come up with a right answer and go out and dominate the GMAT.